Now I talk about a lot of scientific trading stuff and things that require focus and concentration on this channel. But today I want to talk about something fun, something that I find extremely amusing. Five weird ways that people use to analyze the stock market, more specifically the sentiment in the stock market. So dear traders, get ready to be amused. Number one, and this is the one that I found the most amusing, length of women's skirts. The idea here is that the shorter the skirt, the higher the stock market goes. And as the edge of the skirt goes down, so does the stock market. Super weird, right? Well, the reasoning behind such analysis is that as times get better, people tend to become more confident, more easygoing, and dress more provocatively. So as times get better, skirts get shorter, meaning people have more money, they are willing to risk more and in turn invest more in the market. As times get rough, people get more conservative with their clothing and with their investments, hence markets go down. This was extremely evident in the wild 30s, as they call it. I don't know what it was like then, so don't take my word for it, but I read about it in a book, so it must be true. So the 30s, the time of stock market boom and parties, prove this correlation to be true. Number two, the amount of golf balls that people leave on the field. The idea here is the more golf balls left on the field, the less people care about small spendings, hence more money to be invested in the market. So clearly the reasoning here is pretty similar as with the skirts. The better the economy, the less we care about small things. Now just so I don't have to keep repeating myself, all of the examples in this video are based on a similar logic. Good economy means more reckless and more spendy the people are, worse economy means more conservative living. Regardless, the following are nonetheless amusing than the first two, so let's continue and see what else people found to correlate with economic cycles. 3. Overall sales number of wine versus beer. It was indicated that as economy goes down, people tend to buy more beer than wine and as times pick up, people will indulge more with wine. 4. Women's lipsticks. A correlation between market cycles and how much women spend on lipsticks was also found. It was indicated that women buy cheaper lipsticks in times of recession and are willing to pay more when times are good. Obvious really. Yes, you could find this correlation with any other merchandise as well. And last one, and probably the most obvious one, come to think of it now, the ratio of sedan cars versus convertibles being sold. Obviously, the more money people have, the less conservative vehicles they tend to buy. Although it seems obvious talking about it now, coming up with such creative ways to analyze the market sentiment requires really some out-of-the-box thinking. As fun as this was, there is something we can learn from this, actually. It's the motivation to start thinking outside the box when it comes to analyzing the markets. There are lots of alternative data coming out nowadays that focuses on these types of weird analysis to analyze the market condition. And it is never a bad idea to incorporate something like that into your trading. Of course, remember that correlation does not indicate causation, so not everything that correlates well actually has merit behind it. So always look for logic in the underlying analysis you are performing. And most important of all, always remember to have a large enough sample set of alternative data against market cycles so that you could test its statistical validity. It's not a good idea to trust something that worked two times out of three. A lot better is trusting something that worked 200 times out of 300. You get the idea. Anyhow, Anyhow, I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you want to join the community of people that trade using science, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!